So do you think Leisure is hot? What do you think, buddy? Like it? Or? I mean, I, I, I could, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's hot, but uh, I was two weeks ago in Dubai and I can say that, you know, the weather here is much more you know, affordable. Oh, this yeah. is my 66th country that I have this. Wow. Well, you know, especially in the that we are having here. Yes. You are a firm believer that pineapple should not be on pizza, or? Well, you know, I mean, have you heard of nasi lemak? All those Singaporeans might claim that that's theirs, but that's for another topic. Hello, hi. Welcome back. You're watching Atika Malaysia. On this channel, I interview people about Malaysia. If you like this video, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I would like to thank you for all the support that I've received so far. For my viewers who haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It will really help me a lot. I would like to thank you for your support in advance. And without further ado, let's get started. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Spain. Spain? Uh, which part of Spain? Uh, I'm from Galicia. Galicia. Yeah, I was born in Santiago de Compostela. Ah, I see. Can you tell, is it a city or a rural part of Spain? Well, you know, it's next to the coast. So, you know, it has rural part and also, you know, a lot of fisheries. Ah, okay, okay. So you were born and raised there? Yes, I was born and raised uh, there until I was 18, and I, I was to Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, what brought you to Malaysia? Well, you know, I'm trying here to convince uh, the parliament to change the legislation on uh, party regulation and politics. Okay. Um, all right, so do you travel a lot for your work? Well, I, 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 I have to, especially, you know, when I'm doing some advising and consulting on legislative reform. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, how long have you been in uh, Malaysia? I just arrived uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Uh, in the afternoon, yes, indeed. After a long queue in immigration. Oh. Yes, around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, okay. How long was the queue in the immigration? I can only imagine being stuck there. Well, it was quite, uh, you know, quite, quite long. Uh, but, you know, once I arrived to the immigration officer, it was uh, very fast. But, you know, I think I wait around one hour, one hour and a half. Uh, okay. um, so I've never been to Spain, fortunately, I cannot tell much about the difference, but maybe you can help with that. What's the difference between the uh, place that you live in Spain and here? But first I want to talk about the weather, okay? <laughs> so do you think Malaysia is hot? What do you think, buddy? You like it? Or? I mean, I, I, I could, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's hot, you know, much hotter than my region, you have to understand the weather. Come from the north, staying in the south, no, in the south, you know, it's a bit, for example, you can have 45 degrees, right? It's very dry. But, you know, but here I have the feeling that, you know, it is very hot and humid at the same time, which yeah. makes it a bit, uh, you know, very complicated, as you, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, I was two weeks ago in Dubai, and I can say that, you know, the weather here is much more you know, affordable mm. than in Dubai. You know, there is too much, you know, it's possible to be outside at this time of the uh, and here, you know, because you can I've never been in Dubai as well, but is it hotter around this time of the year or is it almost like as hot all year long? You mean in Spain, uh, where I come from? Um, in Dubai. Well, in Dubai, it's, you know, uh, very hot. <laughs> you know, I think it's around 42, 43 degrees uh, currently. Actually, uh, I, and, you know, in my region, I don't know, but yeah. maybe 30 or something like that. Okay. We have, you know, uh, winter, summer, uh, spring. Well, in Dubai, I think they only have one season here, mostly. Yeah, I mean, same as Malaysia. Like, uh, we only have green and sunny. Yeah. I like it so far. You know, I think it's very nice. You know, and the city, you know, is they have this mixture of, you know, colonial part, you know, the more traditional part, local, and then you have this, you know, beautiful modern, you know. Yes. Yeah. To a certain extent, kind of artificial part, but it's still very nice, you know, especially in the view that we are having here. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. yes, absolutely. I'm Malaysian, I'm still mesmerized with this. It is, it is. I mean, I was in the tallest building in the world, in Dubai, yeah. now in the tallest towers in the world. So it seems that you know, I'm going from tall buildings to tall buildings. You know. Yeah, you're chasing all the high towers in the world. Yeah, it seems, it seems so. It seems so. You know, oh, this yeah. is my 66th country that I have this. Wow. You know. I'm going to wow. Singapore and Thursday. And you haven't been to Singapore? No, no, no. It will be my first time. I'm just yeah. doing a, a day trip. Many languages you speak? Well, I speak uh, six languages. Six? Uh, where are they? Uh, you know, uh, Galician, it's the regional language of uh, Spain. Right. Spanish, of course, you know, Portuguese, Polish, English, and Italian. Oh, respect that. 
Yeah. It must be hard, right? I mean, we're learning all the time. When you live in different countries, you know, you try to integrate. Okay, if I may ask, at what age did you start traveling? I mean, you you have been to 66 countries. To be honest, you know, until I was basically 26, I have only been in four. Oh. So I started quite late, you know, but uh, usually for, you know, uh, work reasons. Oh, work see. related, you know, traveling. As I say, I'm an academic tourist. Academic tourist. Yeah. In Southeast Asia, where have you visited? Well, you know, basically I have been, uh, you know, here and in South Korea. South Korea. I know, you know, I have been to Japan, which is Eastern Asia already. Yeah. And, you know, Central Asia as well. Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. But South, Southeast Asia, yes, you know, South Korea and here. I'm hopefully seeing the world. Right. Wow. I'm like inspired by your story. Only me too. I mean, I can count my hands less than 10. Definitely. So, out of the 66 countries, which country do you like the most if you get two points? I, I, I would say country. Okay. I can tell you my favorite city in the world is Rome. Oh, because it yeah. has history, it has culture, it has religion, it has food, it has right. weather. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. perhaps to live there, no, but you know, to be you know, yeah. Rome is uh, my top five. Yeah, yeah. I, I have visited Rome, but Unfortunately, I've never been to the Colosseum because some ticketing issues and yeah, it was out of the plan. Uh, you know that, did you throw the coin in front of the trip? I, I went there, but there were so many people and I did not. I was just like taking pictures from afar. You know that the tradition says that yeah. you have to throw the coin, this means that you can come back. And now you have to come back so I, you know. I mean, I, I knew that it's part of the tradition, but I didn't know what it means. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow. You know, so yeah. Anyway, you have to go back to the I'm going to have to come back and show that so that I... You, that you come back at that time, right? Exactly. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Rome. Uh, how about, you mentioned about the food. What do you like the most food in Rome? All time pasta. You know, everything is delicious in Rome. There's no one thing that you can say. Yeah, I mean, uh, what surprised me the most is because when we when I go to Pizza Hut, you know, all these uh, this is not real pizza. Right, right. I thought that was a pizza, but when I went, when I went to Italy, it's very different. Even the dough, the flour they use is very. Yeah. Napoli, the gradle of pizza, they will tell you that there are only four kinds of pizza. So, mm -hmm. for example, you know, when you go to Pizza Hut, you have pineapple for a pizza. Right. Yeah. You know, they get crazy. This <laughs> is not real. Pizza. This is. They will probably do a riot for a good reason. Yeah. So you you are a firm believer that pineapple should not be on pizza, or well, you know, I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a liberal, you know, this is a free world, but I would say that you know, if you really want to eat an Italian pizza, do not put pineapple on pizza. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I have to I have to. Agree. I'm just not a fan. I'm nothing, nothing, nothing bad against whoever like that. Okay. How about Spain? Like what? What are the foods that you think, if I go to Spain one day, what are the things that I must try? If I go there, if I didn't try it, it will be a sin. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, Spain, you know, Spanish I mean, food. look, I mean, the traditional dish is tortilla de patata. It's like Spanish omelette. Okay. Right, right. Eggs, yeah. you know, potato uh, oil, and tortilla de for example. Uh -huh. You have paella, you know, with this rice, with right. seafood or with chicken. You know, you have a lot of, you know, different soups, the things that, you know, Every part of Spain has right. different traditional food. Right. For example, from my region, Galicia, you know, you have to try the seafood, you know, and the food, you know, white wine, you know, Albania. It's ah. impressive. But it's nothing like sitting next to the coast, you know, eating seafood and drinking, you know. Uh, it's that's, part of that. That's a vibe. I, uh, I'm already, I can already imagine doing that. It's, like, it's going to be a good time. Um, have you tried any Malaysian food so far? Well, to be honest, you know, only yesterday, you know, in the mall dinner or something big, so I cannot really say that I really tried Malaysian food, but I will be here for a week, so I hope to, to do so. Yeah. I have been told that it's delicious, so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. Right. I hope you like it, though. Uh, have, you, have you heard of nasi lemak? No, no. Okay. I would say that was like our national dish. Like every people... Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Exactly, yeah. Every people of every uh, races in Malaysia 
we are proud of that. Although Singaporean might claim that that's theirs, but that's for another topic. Man, I can promise you that they're really not there. Yeah, yeah, you can ask like Malaysians and Singaporeans, they will probably give a different answer about where does it come from. Right? Yeah, um, yeah uh, I would say try as many food as you can, if you probably like it. And yeah. All right, guys, that was the video. I hope you like it. If you like the video, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys again for your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.